Hola mis amigos, day 37 of the Camino Mozarabi. It is now October the 20th, 2020. I haven't vlogged for a couple of days. Um, a lot of it was down to wind and things, but um, and there wasn't sort of a, a great deal to report on. Now, um, back out in the, the countryside, mainly oak trees for the piggies. Just big open countryside here. A lot of the places are like um, the plains of Canada, really massive big areas. Anyway, over the last few days, um, I've stayed at some different sort of type places. Um, three or four days ago, I stayed in a motorway service station, a little hostel um, called El Al Avion. The reason it's named after an aeroplane is because apparently many years ago there was a plane crash there. So it was a little bit strange, but not quite a decent little place. And from there, I walked on, um, mainly on roads, through to a um, town called Banyos de Monte Mayor. It's up in the mountains and it's an old Roman bath town and they've turned it into a, a spa town. It's a bit like Bath in the UK but it's in more in the mountains. Um, lovely place, wonderful, but trouble is because of the Covid and all these restrictions there's several hostels and hotels that do spa treatments and the like. It just shut down at the moment. Um, there must be half a dozen decent sized hotels that are all shut. Um, terrible. Um, anyway, it's a great place for hiking. One of the sort of places I'd go back again when I get a chance. Hopefully when the um, hotels are open. Um, have a spa and bathe my little feeties. Um, so looking forward to that at some stage. Then moved on from there to a town called Fuente Roble. There's another 30 odd K. Um, stayed in a, sort of a refuge made up by a priest. It, it's an albergue, but it's um, a very quirky place where some people stay and live and work. It's, I'll, send, I'll post some pictures of it. Um, it's a bit more like a hippie commune, really. Everybody makes things, and it, it's, you pay for it by a donation. When we got there, there was me and a couple of other pilgrims and things. Um, in there, not many, I think three or four people in there, and you had two or three people that lived there. They, they show you around and they, they, they give you a handful of energy bars and stuff. I think you must think um, I needed them, I probably did. But stayed there overnight and put some money in the kitty box and uh, had a little bit of breakfast in the local cafe. Um, I know that's not that interesting, but that's what you do on this um, Camino, on all Caminos. You follow a routine, eat, sleep, walk, repeat. That's the way it goes. Um, but on the way to Fuente Roble, um, happened to encounter where I was going to end up staying in the first place, um, the village of the damned. Um, horrible little village called Val de Verde Val de Casa. Something like that anyway. The pronunciation may not be exact. Looked on the app and found a um, little albergue there for I think it was about seven euros and there was another pilgrim there and we said oh should we have a look at that one and we did so we phoned up the lady who owned it and she said oh, I'm out at lunch at the moment the door's open go and have a look um, she said don't go in the first room down the bottom because that's where the chickens live and so as we've gone in as we've gone sort of in we've opened the gate and this big Alsatian's jumped over the fence. It wasn't attacking us or anything. It's just jumped over the fence into the garden. So I'm assuming, well, it's the, the owner's dog. Then went past the, the room. It's a proper house. It's a room with the chickens in it. Um, just chicken poop everywhere. Ah, oh, minging. Um, so I went upstairs to the room with all the bunks in it. And it, it was overcrowded for the circumstances these days. You're not allowed to have too many beds in a room. Sorry, I just got to open a gate. Um, not allowed to have too many beds in a room for the COVID um, restrictions and you've got to have geo and all these things. Anyway, when you're up into the room, there were um, bunk beds strewn around. Nice area I'm in, by the way. Bunk beds strewn around the room, really close to each other. And there was cats all over the place, sleeping on the beds and things. Um, 
and the place stank of cat wee. So um, decided to leave there. On the way out, the um, one of the cats got sort of terrified of me and ran down the, the staircase. But as he got to the bottom, the dog was there. So the dog was barking at the cat. The cat ran up, back up to me again, and done that two or three times and then decided, right, the dog is the safer option. But he shot through the gap in the fence. The dog grabbed hold of the cat in the mouth and started shaking him around. Um, and the cat shot off. Um, I think the cat was all right, but he shot off. So um, we... Um, promptly left there, phoned up the lady and said, your place is not suitable. So I thought, I'd better go and have a beer. And there was a, a bar in the village called um, Bar El Pellegrino, Peregrino. So I thought, oh, that's that's good. It's um, suitable for the likes of me. It's very good for another... Okay. Oh, bugger. Slipped um, on the rocky road. So I've just got to lock this gate again. So keep it. Anyway, went into the bar, and that that was really weird. Um, asking for a draft beer, no, it didn't exist. So I ended up with a bottled beer, um, but people just staring at you like you're some sort of thing from outer space. Um, I had my mask on, and so I was doing everything right. But anyway, left there and stuff, and went on to Fuente Robley. Um, Stayed in a little Albergi um, last night, um, San Pedro. Um, it's quite decent. It's only seven euros, and I had a bite to eat in the um, the little host hostel um, cafeteria. So that was okay. So this morning now, as you can see, it rained very heavy last night. So I've got the waterproofs on. It's only a light drizzle at the moment, and um, on the way to um, Salamanca. Apparently Salamanca's closed down and the restrictions are in place. So I, th I believe I'm only allowed to sort of walk through it and not stop anywhere. But I've booked a hotel now on the other side of Salamanca and we'll see how it goes. I'll update when I get there. I'm sorry this video is a bit long, but it's crammed in four days um, activities. I'll post a few pictures and all. Um, take care. Speak to you soon. Swift and bold.